everyone, Comic Reviewy here, and this time reviewing on Transformers Armada Free Comic Book Day Comic Review. Now, as you know, Free Comic Book Day is a May event where comic book companies release promotional material and stories that are going to be planned. Most of them are either like glimpses of what the stories are going to be or what stories are meant to be. Now, the, for a time, Greenwave did release comics during Free Comic Book Day, one of which I got is Transformers Armada, which is meant to take place in between issue 5 and 6. And the cover is basically meant to be from one of the Transformers Dreamwave comics. And let's get on the story. The story starts off how a narration points out how on Cybertron, both sides wage wars, and the Decepticons gaining the Minicons for a powerful advantage, leaving the other Minicons to leave Earth and crash landing on the moon and others on Earth. And the story starts off mainly with Carlos and Red talking, saying, I don't know how, no, Red, the noise came from this distance. Ah, this is the last time I decide to go on a nature hike for science class. So suddenly they look on and see Swindle and they're like, Hey, come back! Oh, humans! I thought you might have been one of those awful Decepticons! And... So, Carlos tries to be friends with him, and says, Probably not. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Swindle. That's Carlos. I'm Red. That's what my friends call me, at least. Do the Autobots... Do you know the Autobots? Yeah! If we introduce you to them, will you give us a ride? And he points out that he will give them a ride, and says that, you know, that he'll give them a, you know, be the only ones to arrive in school in a race car. So, Red does voice doubts, but points out at a time that when he was a kid, when he kicked the ball into his parents' house, his window, they did voice doubts about him, but after they got to know him, they actually... Loved having him around, and he's like, Really? Yeah, but I told them you were a friend, or me, and you deserve another chance. And so they decide on giving Swindle a chance, and they look up on the sky to think it's like a plane in that. Turns out it's Starscream reporting to Megatron. And turns out Cyclonus. This is there as well, saying, Ha! Did you think you could outwit the mighty Decepticons? So, pretty much, Starscream shows up as well, and Cyclonus, as well as Demolisher, despite them trying to get away. So, just then, Demolisher gets blasted, with Red Alert, Hot Shot, and Smokescreen showing up, and pretty much saving Red and Carlos, and taking down them. And Starscream shows up to try and confront them. And says, Red Alert, when did you become such a weakling? Intelligence and strategy will always overcome brute force. Prove it! And so he does prove it. But Falcon doesn't believe him when he says look around. And gets attacked by Smokescreen. So pretty much Cyclone starts firing. And pretty much, much Red Alert and Smokescreen do the fastball special and knock down Cyclonus. Megatron shows up to sort the problem, saying, The Autobots are always good for, for one thing. Target practice. Starscream, uh, is there no end to your incompetence? I ordered you to keep me informed of your situation. And so it turns out... That Swindle is, was pretty much playing along. And he points out that, you know, he had to do it because they offered to free him. But Carlos says that, you know, you became free as soon as you saw, met us. And that we were meant to be your friends. So after this, this the Autobots are captured. And just then, Optimus shows up to confront Megatron. And just as he's about to fire, he misses his shot, and causes 
them to to drop Carlos and Rad with Optimus saving them. So Megatron and Optimus duke it out, and just as Optimus gains the upper hand, Starscream blasts him and thinks there should be a change for leadership, and Megatron says, I dare you to say that again. Ugh. And now has has Optimus captured, but Red Alert does point out that these these restraint binders can be destroyed by a more powerful force. And so you see Swindle now trying to make things right, and basically tries to set things right by basically going full speed, grabbing one of the Decepticon's weaponry, and Megatron saying, Starscream, Cyclonus, anyone, stop him! And so Swindle blasts the energy reminders, and pretty much the Autobots now confront Megatron and the others, and blasts down Decepticons, and they're like, Decepticons, retreat for now. And so the Max and Red congratulate Swindle, and Starscream successfully recaptures Swindle, saying, I can't forget my favorite Minicon. Say goodbye to your friend, Swindle. Hey, let him go. And so, pretty much, they said that even though Swindle lied, they should help him, but... Optimus says that every enemy deserves a chance, even the Decepticons, and even learn from the opportunities of a second chance. And Optimus says, Autobots, transform and roll out. And yeah, this is the end of the story. So you've got the promotional material, and everything else, and the planned Dreamwave stuff. And even a letter from Pat Lee and with Optimus Prime in that. So the story is actually not too bad. I think it could have been interesting as a potential fifth or bonus issue. And it does kind of have a potential for an episode of a murder. So I think the story deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.